Now this story is one of those stories that's going to leave you both happy and angry at the same time. Given public confidence and trust in Trudeau is at an all-time low, it's my sincere hope that this next story will push it even lower. You remember the folks that told you 14 days to flatten the curve, stop the spread? Would you be surprised to learn that out of the $10.6 billion they approximately spent on vaccines, they destroyed nearly a third of it, accounting for $2.1 billion of yours and my tax dollars having gone up in smoke. This information only came to light recently on an inquiry of the ministry on April 8th, and the ministry was forced to provide a breakdown of every dose purchased, donated, and destroyed. I put a full link to the story in the notes section so you can read it for yourself. Public Services and Procurement Canada says that a total of 353.5 million doses were purchased through advanced purchase agreements with different manufacturers. How many uh, doses is that? Well, given that the population of Canada is 39 million approximately, that's enough vaccine doses to vaccinate every Canadian eight times over. Many of the doses were never even delivered. Well, of course, why would they be? Government was handling it. Due to what? Well, the company in some cases folding or not developing the vaccine at all. Many of the doses have also yet to make it into federal inventory or have been forfeited altogether. Now, for those of you who still implicitly trust our wonderful prime minister and his lackeys and are still lining up for more mRNA juice, social distancing, masking, are you serious? Do you really want to trust these people with your public health decisions? As of February 6, the Public Health Agency of Canada accounted for 252,090,980 vaccine doses. The agency says in the inquiry document that the information provided does not account for new doses expected to be delivered after February. It also excludes doses held in federal inventory that have yet to be distributed, donated, or destroyed. Now, out of the 252 million doses, over 138 million were distributed domestically. Nearly 29 million were donated internationally, and close to 74 million were destroyed. The destruction was due to either an expiry or coal chain excursions. And as I said earlier, it impacted 29% of all doses as of February. That destruction, while being a blessing, certainly, still means that for every dollar spent on these concoctions, 29 cents of it went up in smoke altogether. The government only released this information further to an order paper question from Conservative MP Dean Allison. Mr. Allison asked for the amounts Ottawa paid vaccine manufacturers, but the figures were not provided initially, with the government citing contract confidentiality. How dare you ask us how much of your tax dollars we wasted? What do you think you are, surf? Thankfully, the Office of the Auditor General conducted an audit of vaccine procurement in 2022 and estimated the costs per dose at around $30. So now based on this estimate, Ottawa would have spent over $10.6 billion on 353.5 million COVID vaccine doses and 2.2 2.2 billion of that was wasted on destroyed doses. So let that sink in once again, folks. That's 2.2 billion dollars of your money, my money, our tax dollars incinerated. A December briefing note from Health Minister Mark Holland indicates that PHAC does not intend to purchase additional COVID-19 vaccines once firm contractual deliveries under existing advanced purchase agreements are completed at the end of the calendar year 2024. Hmm. Seems kind of odd though. Uh, Given how amazing these vaccines were, we were told this constantly for the last two, three years, uh, repeatedly over and over, but now we don't need them. Paying homage to the we are the world belief and wanting to protect folks in other countries as much as their own, our primary manipulator, you know, PM, and his crew of degenerates also helped other nations such as Mexico, giving them 3 million doses of the Pfizer product. Nigerians were blessed to receive 2.6 million doses of Janssen. And just imagine how happy Bangladeshis must have been 
when they got 2.2 million doses of AstraZeneca. And you thought your government wasted your tax dollars and didn't care. For some strange reason, COVID-19 stopped being considered a public health emergency of international concern by the World Health Organization in May 2023. Somebody should tell that to the BC government. Now, why would they have um, stopped or no longer considered it to be? Well, I guess you can only milk a cow so long before it eventually runs out of milk. Not surprising though, even given that, remaining ever so vigilant about the protection of Canadians, Canada's National Advisory Committee on Immunization, however, is still continuing to recommend a spring booster dose for adults over 65. For residents of long-term care homes or senior residences and individuals aged six months and over who are moderately or severely immune, uh, immunocompromised. Or in my opinion, I think anyone who's still social distancing, masking, locking down, and still wants to do their part for stopping the spread, eh, go get a shot. Anyway, I do appreciate you watching. Thank you very much. Uh, this has just been another example of how our government works so well and uh, just is so amazing. Uh, catch me next time. You can follow me on my Rumble, my Locals account. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so. You can also follow me, like I said, on X at Camera 612, and I will see you next time.